What's good, y'all? What's good? What is this? Grand Rising, y'all. Grand Rising. What's up, Tony? Thank you for the likes, y'all. Thank you for the likes. Gratitude. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Perky. Thank you very much, DJ Perky. Appreciate all that. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. How y'all doing this evening, y'all? I mean, this uh, this afternoon, I would say. It's afternoon over here. It's afternoon over here. Middle East loves you, bro. Israel. <laughs> DJ Perky, how you know they love me, bro? How you know they love me? All right, Rob, gratitude. Thank you so much. Welcome to the chat, man. Welcome to the live. Welcome to the live. Thank you. Already evening here. It's already evening over there. That's, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? That's amazing. That is amazing. What's good, y'all? 
Ashe, Ophine, what's going on? What's going on, Ophine? J Dust, what's going on? Thank you for the follow, most wanted. Thank you so much. Gratitude. Hi, Rob, what's going on? I see you in here. Um, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? To the rising, y'all. Grand to the rising. How y'all doing today? I apologize. I'm just trying to get some stuff going on, man. Um, yeah, what's going on? Listen, let's see. Drinking my rising tea. Okay. Way to grow. I was doing my work earlier. Everything works out. The way it's supposed to. The way it's supposed to. How y'all doing today, man? We gonna do the breath work this rising, y'all. We didn't get to do it. We haven't been doing it in the past couple of days because I've been really, really busy. But today, we got a couple, we got some time. We got some time, so we gonna do the breath work with y'all. How you doing? What's up? Where you at, user? You got the, you got Kratos. That's Kratos, right? That's Kratos? Um, God of War, Blue Line 768. It's rising over there. Y'all don't, don't find it funny how they say, um, like, when it's daytime, they say it's morning. But, but then they call, like, Lucifer the morning star, right? Which is li literally when Lucifer is here, that's when a lot of people are going to be mourned. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what's happening right now with the sun heating up. Like, y'all see, see what's happening on the planet, man. A lot of people are being mourned. A lot of people are being unalive, man. This heat wave is not playing with people. This heat is not playing with people. And people are being tested, bro. People are being tested. A lot of people don't understand that um, you have what's called, um, you have solar people here and lunar people here. And the lunar people are being removed from this plane. Because now it's about solar energy. It's about the solar energy now. What's this? What is this about, man? All right, Perky. Yeah, man. Do your thing, man. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day, Perky. What y'all? What's the what's the word out there, y'all? Last night, man. I don't know about y'all, but I couldn't go to sleep. It's not that I couldn't go to sleep, but um, I was awake and sleep at the same time. Did y'all? Did y'all have that? Did y'all? Did y'all feel that? I was awake and asleep at the same time. Much love, appreciate I'll be back if you'll be here. I don't, I don't know if I'll be here, but I'll definitely be on later. Let, later tonight, I'll be on for sure. And you know, if once they fix my internet, I'll be on for sure. Last night, y'all, I could not, I was up. I, listen, girl, I closed my eyes, right? I closed my eyes, I dream instantaneously. Instantaneously, I'm like, I'm like in another realm. But at the same time, my body is awake. My body is awake. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, this is like, <laughs> I've had this before. I've had this before, but it was so weird just to like be present. I was like, my conscious was in my dream. It wasn't me. We're in another, dreams are just literally being in another realm. You're in the astral traveling, right? That's what the, that's what dreams are. You're in the astral world, you're traveling and uh, creating all that. Uh, um, you're closing out timelines, doing missions and all that type of stuff. But yesterday, it was, it was, and it was so vivid, y'all, so vivid um, that I was like literally in my body, right? But at the same time, my consciousness was elsewhere in the astral world doing all kinds of things. But I was so awake. My body was not sleeping. My body was not sleeping. I would get up, go use the restroom, right? Um, and then I'll come back, lay down, close my eyes instantaneously out to another realm. 
instantaneously. I'm like, what the hell is going on, man? But like it subsided throughout the night. Like, I don't know when it subsided, but I was waking up three, four in the rising. Um, maybe it stopped around like five or six or whatever. But man, I was like, this is crazy, man. And I've been telling y'all, this is this is literally we're closing out timeline. We're closing out timelines because the moon is the moon is being destroyed. The, not being destroyed, but it's being um it's being removed. Thank you very much, Star, uh, Stardust. Gratitude, gratitude. Hey, did you get your um you got your stuff, Stardust? Did you get your stuff? You got your stuff, right? Gratitude. Thank you very much for the galaxy. Appreciate all that. I would get up and walk around the house. It was like I was waiting for someone. I always say safe travels before someone goes to sleep. Yeah, I always say I don't say sleep. What's it called? I don't say um I, I don't I don't say good night. I always yeah, I always say rest well and yeah, safe travels to the astral. That's what I say. I'd be like safe travels to the astral because I mean sleep is not real. It's not sleep is not something we need because sleep is something that the physical vessel needs you know what i'm saying sleep is something that the physical vessel needs but once we're out of the physical vessel once we're out of this uh this lockdown which is what we're leading up to you know what i'm saying then sleep won't even be a thing anymore you are my favorite creator on tiktok thank you very much uh lil lil lou lil lou lil lou that's crazy um because my last name is lewis my last name is lewis so you so so you lil lewis huh you a little Lewis, huh? <laughs> and then got the number 38. One of my favorite numbers, 38. That's crazy. Bro, why do you believe in that? Bro, get out of my chat, bro. You don't even follow me. You don't, you don't, you have no say in my chat. Get out of here. You have no say in my chat. Alright? Get out of my chat. You have no say in my chat. Um, there we go. Exactly. Yeah, we're in multiple places at once. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, and that's and that's for the robots that don't understand. Okay, go go uh go tell it. Never mind. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say nothing. Um, the dragon theory is wild. It's not far from being feasible. What what's the dragon theory? What's what is the dragon theory? Divine rising, very sweet. What's going on? Grand rising, goddess. Grand rising. What is the dragon theory? I've been looking at Mud Fossil University on YouTube. He's got some wild stuff. Um, I heard about that dude. I've heard about uh, Mud Fossil University. Can't feed the fire, only grow the dragon and divide them. Um, for people, for people to think that these things don't exist, it's it blows my mind. It blows my mind. Like for people don't think that these things. So why the freak would they put it out into y'all? Why would they put it out to you guys? Why would they put it in cartoons? Why would they make video games like Spyro? Why would they put it in movies? Why would they do that? Where did the idea come from? Where did the idea come from? They, one of your favorite TV shows, Game of Thrones, even though I've never seen it, isn't that about fighting dragons? Isn't that what that shit's about? Dragons, medieval time and whatnot? Like, isn't... Dragon Heart, like what's why would they create these type of things? Anime shows, why? And where did the idea come from? It has to come from somewhere. It has to come from somewhere. It has to come from somewhere. Everything to slay the dragon, right? But we already know what the, I mean, the people who know what the dragon is, we already know what the dragon's all about. We already know what the we already know what the dragon's all about, but we live on a giant, we live on a giant fossil, literally on a giant fossil. The mountains, the mountain petrified, uh, petrified fossils, giant human beings. Like it's like for people to come in here and what, when the proof is literally out there, all you have to do is YouTube. And that's what I'm saying. These people, they don't know how to research. They don't know how to research. They just come on here or just go on YouTube and find the most interesting the thing, and find the most interesting lives to go to and just talk bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And these people, that, that's that's the people who don't know how to think for themselves, who don't who can't see clearly, right? And again, these are the people that when these things come into fruition, because y'all gotta understand, these things are coming. These things are they're, they're already here. We're living on these things, right? There's gonna there's there's a planet cleanup coming up. 
There is a planet cleanup coming up, and these are the entities that that are that are going to clean up the planet. These are the entities that are cleaning up the planet. The dragons, the Leviathan, and all these type of things. These are the entities that are cleaning up the planet. Y'all have no idea, bro. Just because you cannot, you know, you cannot perceive them with your two physical eyes does not mean it's not real. There's shit that there's shit that dogs hear that you can't hear. There's shit that birds, bats see, um, um, uh, uh, that you cannot see, that you cannot hear. Come on, y'all. Y'all really thinking small. I mean, I'm not talking about the people that really see beyond this matrix. I'm not talking about y'all because y'all know this shit. I'm talking about the people who can't think for themselves. The people who was brainwashed, who ate the school cafeteria lunch. <laughs> the people who was drinking, who was eating and drinking poison at nine in the rising, eight in the rising from your schools, right? Um, I didn't have the I didn't have the comfort of doing that because. They said my dad made too much money, so I couldn't even I couldn't even eat cafeteria food or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So I had to sneak off little food here from my friends and whatnot. But at the same time, it's like, how do you? Come on, right? Because here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Before 9/11 happened, what was happening? Before 9/11 happened, what was happening? They were sending you messages, right? Predicted programming through movies. The Simpsons, all these type of movies, Back to the Future, right? There's so many movies and TV shows that that showed y'all 9/11 before it happened. Uh, Carmel 83, we do not say good morning here. We we do not say good morning. We say Grand Rising. We say Radiant Rising. We say all these beautiful things. Good morning, morning. There's nothing good about morning. There's nothing good about morning whatsoever at all nothing good um but at the same time you know what i'm saying it's like they showed y'all all these predictive programming before 9 11 happened they showed y'all it right but then it's a conspiracy it's a conspiracy unseen scenes you know what i'm saying and the thing is the thing it's a conspiracy oh my goodness it's a conspiracy if i told you that if i told you the cia killed um, JFK too. It would be a conspiracy, right? And the, I bet you don't. People don't even know what the word conspiracy means. People don't even know what the word conspiracy means. Can somebody tell me what the word conspiracy means? Why is nothing good? I, I didn't say why. I didn't say nothing is good. I didn't say. I didn't say. Jazzy, you don't even follow me, so you don't. You don't get to say nothing in my chat. You don't say you don't get to say nothing in my chat and you're muted for five minutes. OK, you're muted for five minutes. Um, OK, so, OK, there you go. The, yeah, Ethan, you said the three letter agency, um, the three letter agency uh, coined it. OK, so. Right. When you coin something, right, when you coin something like you're make you're, you're stamping it, you're literally stamping it. So what does that tell you? The word conspiracy literally means to con uh, it's a it's a, it's an agreement to conspire with something. It means an agreement. Look, 933, 933, and I have and I have 3.9 people here. Look at that, 369, right? 369, and I have 93 people. You see what I'm saying? The word conspiracy means an agreement. It's to conspire. It's to agree with something. So when they're telling you that, when they're telling you that, oh. When everybody's saying, oh, the CIA killed um, JFK, right? But they couldn't even tell you specifically who Lee. It was first of all, it was Lee Harvey Oswald. Then it was this person. Then it was that person, whatever. Then they found out it was actually the driver, the driver who drove for JFK, who basically pulled the gun, who pulled the trigger right behind him. And people thought it was coming from all angles and whatnot because they set up. Y'all don't really understand. They literally told you that they were the one who killed him. Conspiracy means, yes, I agree with you. That's what it means. It means yes, I agree with you. Go look up the etymology. I don't have to lie to you. I don't. I'm not lying to you. Go go look up the word conspiracy and look up the etymology of the word conspiracy and then learn something. Learn something because people don't even know how to think for themselves. People don't even have the fucking thing. They don't even know how to think for themselves. Y'all really wild, man. It's 2024. So much information out there, but yet you lack the knowledge. You lack the wisdom. What the hell, bro? What the hell? Thank you very much, uh, The Hidden Sun. Gratitude. 
yes, agreement of people to do harm. It doesn't even matter if it's agreement uh, to do harm or not. They're literally agreeing with you. Why do you think all the conspiracy, why do you think all the conspiracies are coming true now? Why do you think all the conspiracies that people were talking about, oh, that's just a conspiracy. Why is it true now? Why is it true? Why are all the conspiracy theories winning? Why? Because they were open-minded. They have an open mind. What does it say? Closed mouths don't get fed. Well, closed minds don't get fed either. You're going to be stuck in time. Right? Because I told you, a lot of people, they're mentally ill. They're mentally sick. They're mentally ill, so they cannot grow. They cannot mentally grow. So they stay in that position where they were basically trauma bonded at. Regardless if you were in, in, um, in elementary school, middle school, high school, once you come to, once you, once you pass a certain state, right, you cannot think for yourself. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not expanding your consciousness, looking at new things, new, uh, new, new words, new phrases, new books, like following the, if you're, if you're still stuck in that, in that 19, 1999 era, that 2000 era, you're not learning nothing. You're not growing anywhere. You're not, you're not, you're not benefiting nobody. At that point in time, the universe says you don't belong here. The universe says you don't belong here because you're not open-minded enough. You can't see beyond this fucking physical realm. Knowing that you see this, that TV show. There's a TV show I posted. I posted it the other day, right? I posted the other day, right? Where they, um, it's a TV show on Netflix called Daydreams and Nightmares. Nightmares and Daydreams. Okay, it's called Joko Anwar's nightmares and daydreams it's like the it's like the eastern it's like the eastern version of black mirror okay it's the eastern version of black mirror it's all indian people and chinese people and whatnot okay they specifically said that your government okay is literally taking people right younger people and trans uh, transferring energy consciousness into older people i'm talking about people that are 130 years old 110 years old 120 years old that you think that you think should not what was it called that you that that should not be living anymore right and these people they have been here for centuries being fed these people again what's the biggest crime in america child trafficking sex trafficking where is that energy going to where's that energy going to where's it going to right to the elite to the rich and they're taking their blood, they're taking their blood, their, 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 their life force, their blood, and just trans, trans, they're literally transmuting it into these older beings so they can sustain life. 110, 120, 130 plus years. Literally, they're telling y'all, and they look young, young as me. They look young as me. And they're telling you their real age. Right? And what they say, they said, people are so ignorant and naive that they don't want to believe it. Even if they come out and they told them what they've been doing, they're not going to want to believe it. Because they're so set in their ways. Meaning what they have done to you guys, programming you guys, right? Via the school system, the book system, working and all this type of stuff, it's working. Spraying, spraying stuff in the sky, put it in your food and your water, making you docile. It literally is telling you that it's working. What they're doing is working. Why? Because you believe them. You still believe in the school system where you're putting your kids in school. You still believe going into work, right? You still going to work instead of creating a, a lifestyle for yourself. Instead of creating a lifestyle for yourself where you can literally become your own boss, you still go to a nine to five. You still you still live in the corporation in the, in the corporate world. You still believe in that shit. Why? Because you chose to believe. And even the word believe has the word lie in it. Why? Because you're lying down for the lie. You're laying down for the lie. Don't come out here talking shit to me, bro. I've been doing this shit. Just because, just because I appear to look young, bro. <laughs> I'm an ancient being, bro. I'm an ancient being. I am an ancient being, bro. Don't come out here talking shit to me. Y'all have no idea my age. Y'all have no idea my age, literally. Just because I use numbers and whatnot to de uh, to, to decipher and show things, uh, show things to you, right? Oh, don't. Don't play with me, bro. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Nizzy 
what's going on, my boy? Hey, Nizzy, yo. What's up? What's up, Nizzy? That's my boy, Nizzy. Nizzy is in the building. Nizzy's another big creator, man. If y'all fuck with my content, y'all will fuck with Nizzy's content, man. Nizzy's got some hit. Nizzy's got some bangers, man. Y'all go follow my boy, Nizzy, man. Nizzy right here, man. Nizzy, yeah, I'm T. I'm, I'm, you know, we talking Niz. We know we talking over here, bro. And it looks like some people know you in here, cause like, that's what I'm saying. If people fuck with me, if people fuck with my content, then people fuck with you, Niz. If people fuck with my content, then people fuck with you. So, um, yeah, show my boy some love, man. Show my boy some love. But we just we just sitting here talking about, you know, how people are just like, man, they're just they're just easily manipulated by the by the government, man. They're easily manipulated by the government, and the and the fact of the matter and the, the fact that it is that they cannot understand that they cannot see that. They cannot see that, right? Because again, most people's third, most people's first eye is not open. Most people's first eye is not open. The ability to have your first eye open, or what they call your third eye, is be, again being open-minded. You literally have to be open-minded. First of all, you have to be open-minded. You have to be like, okay, we live in a dualistic world. Okay, yeah, maybe the government is doing this to us, right? Maybe they're killing us slowly. Maybe then, or um, and or you know, you, you can look at it this way. Am I aiding and abetting them? Am I aiding and abetting them? Yes, you're aiding and abetting them. Why? Because you're paying for their poisonous water to come into your house every month, right? Right? The poisonous water that contains all kinds of um, metals and carcinogens and whatnot, right? If you don't believe me, I could go show you my distiller right now and I can show you what's in my distiller, right? So you're aiding and abetting in that, right? Let's see. Are you aiding and abetting in something else? Yes. Uh, you're paying for that uh, that dangerous cable, that mind altering cable, that predictive programming uh, cable that they that they send to you, right? Unless you really know how to break things down and decipher these movies and these TV shows that they're telling you, then you're being manipulated by them. You're being manipulated by them, right? What else are you are you aiding and abetting for? Hmm? Um, let's see, uh, the Wi-Fi that you pay for, the internet, that's literally slowly cooking you alive because they call Wi-Fi the silent killer. That's what they call Wi-Fi. Are you aiding and betting for that? Yes. You're paying probably $80 to $100 a month to get cooked alive by radiation. Yes, you're doing that. Yes, you're doing that. So you're literally aiding and abetting the government and literally slowly killing you. No lie. No lie. You get what I'm saying? So you coming in here and saying, oh, blah, 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 I don't believe it. Uh, uh, the Leviathan is not real. Dragon's not real. Okay, you're like you just you just don't belong here. That's all it is. You feel me? It's just it's just you just don't belong here. That's it. That's all it is. That's what is like they live total recall, carbon altered, they clone Tyrone. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I, told, I said that shit a long time ago. Um, they clone Tyrone is literally our story, right? The original beings, right? The original the original carbon beings, right? They came here, right? We we were here, and then we were attacked by extraterrestrials. Well, not extraterrestrials, by aliens, aliens. Um, and um, aliens that has been living amongst us this whole time took our DNA and they altered our carbon, literally altered our carbon, right? And they created all these clones, the Cabbage Patch Kids, all these type of things, right? You, you hear about it. It was going viral a couple years ago, the Cabbage Patch Kids, you know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, and then what? All these, all these Cabbage Patch Kids appeared out of nowhere and these orphans started to appear out of nowhere. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Yeah, and the Bible tells you they were made in our image, not entirely in our men in our image because they're carbon copies. They are carbon copies. You guys, have you ever, you guys ever seen carbon copy paper, right? You guys ever seen what carbon copy paper? And in order to see, it, you have to write in black ink, and then you see the other papers. They're like pink. They're like yellow. You guys seen that, right? Right? You seen that, right? I be breaking this shit down for y'all. I think I think my internet guys here, y'all. I think my internet guys here. Um, but did y'all see? Okay, now let let perf a perfect example, right? Perfect example, right? Yeah, the orphan trains, all that. Yeah, they took our they took our DNA and they copied it. They altered it, right? And so they they could the only thing they couldn't they, they couldn't take was our melanin because our melanin was not allowed them to do it. What's up, baby? Hold on, y'all.
All right. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Damn, man. Um, man, I thought my internet was going to be fixed today, man. I thought I was going to get some new internet today, but it looks like AT&T fucking off, man. AT&T fucking off. So, um, so back to what I was saying, y'all. Um, you see what I'm saying? Um, now look at this. Now look at this, right? Um, the birds chipping in the background singing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard that. I heard that aliens live amongst us. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Some of y'all the aliens. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Some of y'all the aliens. A lot of people in here, like a lot of people in here, some of y'all the aliens. I'm telling y'all, for real, for real. But, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. They're, they're gonna give me a free month. They're gonna give me a free month, and I'm gonna enforce that. AT&T is not brand new. AT&T has been here for a while. This is not new. This is it's new in this area. It's new in this area, but AT&T is not brand new. AT&T, yeah. Okay, yeah. But what I'm so so um yeah so yeah I got a, I got a lot of uh, aliens in here listen to what uh, listen to what I have to say because they're very interested. You feel me? They're very interested. So um they wanna they they wanna hear about themselves. They wanna know, right? They showed you guys this, man. I told y'all what the, they're good at. They're good at manipulating the frequencies to look like other people. Okay. Um. Yeah, AT&T ain't new. You know what I'm saying? It's not, AT&T is it is Bell South. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it from went from Bell South to Singular, and now AT&T. You know, just trying to again, like that's that's what that's what that and see see that that's what aliens do. <laughs> When you found, when you've been found out, right? When aliens do that, uh, uh, look at the aliens dropping. They're like, damn, I've been found out. Look, look at the aliens dropping. Look at the aliens dropping. They've been found out. <laughs> the aliens dropping. They're like, damn, he knows I'm in here. He knows I'm in here. But what's it called? Um, and it's funny because, right? It's funny because, um, what's it called? Um, I told y'all the people that they put in our lives, right, in our communities that look like us, that aren't us, are the biggest traitors, are the biggest snakes in the whole world. Cause look at what happened to they just put a video out about um what's his name? Billy Carlson, right? Y'all heard y'all heard about Billy Carlson? Even though I even though I, I exposed Billy Carlson like two, three years ago, I believe. Two, three years ago, I exposed him, right? Even though I exposed him like two, three years ago, but because now, you know, people are are waking up a little bit more, right? People are waking up a little bit more and, you know, they're probably their third eye is opening, but we're also entering a new stage of consciousness as well. And that's what the age of Aquarius is all about. It's entering a new stage of consciousness, okay? If you are not entering a new stage of consciousness, the universe cannot use you. Simple as that. If you are not entering or you're not able to enter a new stage of consciousness, the universe cannot use you and you will be moved. You will be moved. And then and then I don't want you to take it in a bad way, but the energy the first the law of the, uh, the first law of therm, uh, thermodynamics, okay? Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It's going to be used for something else, right? So if you're if you were here and you were not doing nothing for the universe, you're going to be removed and that energy that you were is going to be is going to be moved for something else. It's going to be used and created for something else. That's all as simple as that. Simple as that. Everything is sentient. Everything has con everything is sentient, but not everything has consciousness. Understand that. There's a difference between sentient and consciousness. Okay. And then, and then predicated upon how open-minded you are, you can have a large open, a, a large amount of consciousness that's coming from the universe, or you can have a minuscule amount. Right. It's kind of like a feeding baby. Like you don't feed baby a whole a whole uh, a, a, a big man plate, a caveman plate. You little little bits of pieces in there. All right. Okay. Juice seems he's open-minded. Juice seems like he is open-minded. Okay, let me let me give him a little bit of you know a little a little vegan a little vegan mango. You know what I'm saying? Not vegan mango. A little a little mango. You know what I'm saying? A little a little bit of uh, real bananas, real watermelon, right? Real coconut water. You know what I'm saying? We'll give him a little bit of that to see if we can take that. And they're like, oh shit, he's really he's really going here. All right, bro, pour the whole ocean on him. Pour the whole ocean on him. Pour the whole you know give him the give him the avocados, right? Give him the grapes. Give him all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's 
what it, that's what it takes in order for the universe to choose you, to be chosen by the universe for you to get that information, the esoteric downloads and the wisdom so you can disseminate unto the people. That's what it takes. You feel me? Um, but if you are showing the universe that you are adamant, that you are naive, that you cannot take this, that you cannot be open-minded, that you cannot channel different things, right? Take these different energies in, you're not going to be used. They're not using you. The creator is through you. The creator is through you, it's in you, and it's using you for the greater good. We are entering a new state, new uh new uh news, uh new age. And now if you cannot be used, right, you will be moved, you will be removed. Just like these these fake people that they put into our community, like Billy Carson. What not just just talk about one simple thing now look he's getting he's being out even though like a couple like i outed him like three years ago but now people are waiting are into a new a new awareness and they can see the snakes for what they really are when you're only talking about a certain thing when you're talking about a certain thing now people are like okay yeah okay yeah that that makes sense that makes sense when he talks he does seem a little soulless uh, yeah yeah i've never seen then you're right. I've never seen him laugh before. I've never seen him smile before. Like, why does he always look like that? Why does he look like a convicted felon? Why does he, you know what I'm saying? Like, these type of things. Like, people are aware to these type of things now because of the new age, the new awareness that we are in. You feel me? So, um, I'm glad people are finding out. And he's not the only one. He's not the only one. It, it, it's it's going to get it's going to get crazy, right? Because this new light, this new light that, that people are, are complaining about, that's what's bringing everything to the surface because light is information that is nothing but consciousness that is nothing but more consciousness coming to the surface for you to see for you to see for the people that oh yeah his his yeah I, yeah his wife is his handler like i said I, I, I exposed this a long time ago i exposed this a long time ago so i'm glad i'm glad people are being aware of it now and they're seeing what's really happening for people because yeah these people are not for you these people are not for you all right if they got a huge following on all kinds of on all types of platforms, y'all, these these people are not for you. They're not putting the information out there. They're not putting the information out there. What's going on, Netherlands? What's going on, Truelli? Please open our eyes about the Tartarians. Man, the Tartarians are old news, man. We are still the Tartarians. The Tartarians are still here. They just changed names. Tartarians said from Tartarians to Egyptians to uh, they're called uh, the indigenous people is it's we're all, it's the same thing it's the same thing right the Tartarians are no different if we just we just in a sense devolved from our size that's it we just devolved from our size but then this is what our ad this is what this new information this new tech uh, this new this new energy is causing us to do now we're ready to uh, see the birds are literally talking literally telling y'all man this nigga say I'm telling the truth right birdie Birdie, where you at? Oh, you, you ain't talking to me. You see what I'm saying? You said, bro, come on, I'm telling the truth. You see? <laughs> I don't even know where he at. But he's right here in my tree. You feel me? Um, It's crazy, just like the rest of the world. Did you see who is the new Navo chief? I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't know what that Navo chief is. And then I got Nav charging me up. Talking about Navo Chief, and I got Nav charging me up, boy. Let's get it. Thank you, hit the sun. Appreciate love that. Appreciate love that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Gratitude. Um, I have been hearing and seeing the birds communicate for years, and they've been protecting as well. Mer uh, yeah, birds are messengers, man. Birds are messengers. That's why when they're, that's why when the change is about to happen, they talk about the birds, right? Um, like when they talk about in in the law of one. And the law of one, when when they talk about the changes coming, right? Um, it's a uh, they talk about the blue avions, right? The blue avions, which is the blue bird, right? But uh, and then what color? And then what what do they call the blue bird? The blue avion? They call it Ra, Ra, which is the sun god. You get me? It's the sun. You know what I'm saying? They're literally talking about the sun, the blue sun, the blue sun, the blue bird sun. And then again, birds are messengers. They tell you what time uh what what changes are coming because they are directly connected to the electromagnetic field of the earth and then what's changing right now the electric the electromagnetic field of the earth right we're going through what's called a pole shift and the pole shift has to do with us as well all right this is consciousness and awareness more intelligent more light coming to this earth and you are a pole you are literally a pole you are a transmuter from the universe okay okay and then again if your if your pole is dirty if your pole is corroded if your pole is not open-minded if you're not open-minded right then you will not get shocked you will not get the energy you will not get the information you will not receive none of that 
You will not receive the upgrades, the uploads. You will not receive none of that. I'm telling y'all this. I'm telling y'all this. Like it's not, it's not rocket science. You see, the universe is very simple. I be telling y'all, the universe is very simple. So what do you, what happens? You have, you have very complex organisms, created people, created people that they put in our faces to this, to, to basically try to decipher the universe and they can never. That's why everything is about theory. Oh, this theory and that theory and this, no, bro, you just have no connection to the universe. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. You, that's why everything is a theory because they don't they they lie they're liars they don't want to they don't they have no connection to the universe even though they may know so true that they they may know some truth but the fact of the matter is the type of truth that we know that's deep that resonates deep from within they can never ascertain that because they're not connected to the universe they're not connected to the galaxy so they have to put people like neil degrasse tyson in your face uh michio kaku um that guy in a wheelchair that's like who believes a guy in a wheelchair for real y'all a guy in a wheelchair that can barely talk, that needs a machine to talk. Come on, y'all. For real? For real? What's his name? Stephen, Stephen Hawking? Right? And then again, it's the Hawk. It's literally the Hawk. At the point, Paralyzed Hawk at that point in time, right? And this point is a Paralyzed Hawk. But yeah, like, again, come on, y'all. Y'all y'all gotta see the, y'all gotta see for what it's worth, man. And I'm not talking shit. I'm just talking truth, right? I'm just talking truth. That's what I do. I just, I just talk truth. Some people can't understand the truth. Some people can't handle the truth. Some people cannot handle the truth. They cannot stand the truth. Okay? And that's what that's what's happening right now. Because the sun is the truth. I told y'all. Nothing's going to be able to hide from this light. This light that's in the air right now, nothing is hiding from it. All the lies that we're hitting are coming to the surface. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have to start somewhere. It's starting with, you know, some politicians, right? Some music artists, you know, some celebrities and uh, blah, blah. But y'all have, there's so much shit that's going to come to the surface. There's so much more that's going to come to the surface. Y'all have nothing. The sun is a simulation. No, it is not. The sun is a, we, all right. We live in a sun, we live in a simulator. We live in a simulation. So, so what does that tell you? We live in a video game. So what does that tell you? Please tell me. We live in a giant video game. What does that tell you? I'm waiting. What's it called? Where you at? Where you at? Um, what's it called? Uh, creative, uh, creative rising. We live in a simulation. What does that tell you? Thank you very much, Tommy. Thank you. Thank you. Who was that? Andres, thank you so much. Gratitude. Gratitude. Okay? So what does that tell you? We live in a simulation. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? And I already broke down the whole simulation thing, right? Again, we've entered a new age. Every new age requires a new, new information new technology that's why all this new technologies come out they're talking about the med beds and all that type of stuff but a new age requires new information new light you get what i'm saying a new age requires new light which is new information okay we've entered the age of aquarius now which every new zodiac sign we enter every house that we enter right that's why the house that that's why the new house that the old house that you moved in the old house that you were in and the new house that you moved in, it probably doesn't have the same light bulbs. It probably don't have the same light bulbs. It probably don't have the same light structure. It probably doesn't have that. Why? Because it's a new house. Look at the modern houses. Look at the new modern houses. Their light, their light game is crazy. Crazy. Lights that you've never seen before. Are you gonna call that a simulation? Oh, look at these simulated light bulbs. But they help you see. Hmm? They help you see in the dark. I bet you those light bulbs wouldn't exist and you'd be like, damn, I wish I had a simulation light bulb right now. I wish. I, but you live in a giant video game. But you live in a giant video game. You know what I'm saying? Like these people come up with these stupid theories. Like, come on, bro. Y'all really got to think for yourself. Stop giving it to these people. Stop repeating shit that people are just saying. These people have no idea what they're saying. 
They're just regurgitating information. And, ha and the people who are putting the information out there, those are government puppets. And then the and then the people who follow the government puppets like Billy Carlson. Oh, yeah. I, I heard Billy Carlson said that the Anunnaki and the Sumerians are going to put up a fake light. I don't know about that. Hey, did you hear about that? And then, wait for, and then they wait for you. They wait for you to say something. And then they go balls to the wall about Billy Carlson. Balls to the wall about this. Balls to the wall about this person. Right? People they've never met before. That they try to hit up in their inbox, they don't even see them. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right? Huh? You are not correct, bro. Yeah. Okay. Then thank you very much. Then you don't belong in my life, bro. You don't belong in my life. I don't. I don't care if I'm not correct. I don't. I don't care if I'm not correct. But you don't belong here, bro. It, it does. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Go. Go. Uh, go tell that to your two followers. Go tell that to your two followers. Okay. <laughs> Go tell it to them, okay? Go tell it to them. Go go live and talk to them. Go live and talk to them. Tell them, tell them that the tell them that the sun is simulating. Tell that tell that. All right. It, I told y'all. Hold on, man. See, I told y'all the new age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius is ruled by the sun Saturn. Okay. Saturn is also known as the black sun. Okay. Saturn is known as the black sun. Oh, thank you very much. Gratitude, Thami. Appreciate love that. Appreciate love that. Thank you so much. Um. Saturn is known as the black sun. Okay, the black sun is is the is also called the artificial sun because this is the this is what's disseminating what's called um the nanotechnology. Okay, nanotechnology, which is what they call the black goo, right? The crystals oil. Okay, right? That's what that sits at the bottom of our spine. That's activating it. Okay, that's activating it, right? That's why. That's another reason why they have the uh, the Leviathan, right? Which is the Kundalini energy, the snake energy at the Empire State Building, right? And we already know what New York represent. New York, when you break it down, it's New York K, and K on the periodic table is the 19th letter on the periodic table, which is correlated to the sun. It's the new your sun. It's it's the it's your new sun basically. It's your new sun. So it's telling you, uh, this telling you that the Leviathan or the Kundalini energy is climbing up to the Empire State Building to your mind, activating your first eye, activating your third eye chakra. Get some knowledge, bro. Everything is esoteric. Everything is esoteric. People just don't know how to break down esoteric information. People just don't know how to break down esoteric information. They don't know nothing. Everything that you see out there is within you. Everything that you see out there is within you. They're telling you that Godzilla, the Leviathan, is rising up within you. As above, so below. As above, so below. As within, so without. Yeah, and that's when a lot of people are not. A lot of people are not awake, and they will be removed from this plane. They, that's what I'm saying. They will be removed from this plane of existence. They won't. They do not belong here. So that type of energy, that type of energy, it cannot be used in the new state of in the, in the new age of Aquarius. So the universe is not going to use you. You're not open-minded enough. You can't see beyond this veil. You can't see beyond this illusion. Crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy, man. Bro, like I said, I'm an ancient being. I'm an ancient being, bro. This physical vessel, don't let this physical vessel be full. This don't let this physical vessel fool you. Don't let this physical vessel. In order to, to in order to have this type of physical vessel, you have to be an ancient being. In order to have this physical vessel, this melanated physical vessel, you have to be an ancient being. You have to be a soul being. You have to be a being from the solar system in order to, right? And the type of information that I get is a lot different. Is a lot different from other people. Okay? What's it called? Um. Um. It's funny because someone said, bro, they will silence you like Rashad Jamal. Uh, no, Rashad Jamal was a puppet. Rashad Jamal was a puppet. Um, and you don't even follow me, so I don't even know what you're doing here. Um, Rashad Jamal was a puppet, and he was just a—he was just another person that was sent to usurp energy from the from our people. That's all it was. That's all. That's all he was. Okay. Why do you think Rashad Jamal disappeared? Why do you think he disappeared? He's, he's just playing. He's just playing another role. He's just playing another role. I broke. I broke down and I exposed Rashad Jamal a couple years ago. He's just another government puppet. 
That's all he was. He was always throwing up the 666 in his fucking, in his, in his videos. He was always doing the one eye salute. He was always doing all that type of stuff. But we don't need to get into that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I definitely felt this in my heart and soul. That's why I never followed that brother. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, again, like, it goes to show you, it goes to show you people are still not thinking for themselves. That's, that's all it shows you, right? Even though, even though they tell you symbolism will be their downfall, all these people are still throwing symbolism and hand gestures and all these type of things in their videos and people just cannot see it but when i bring it out when i throw it out, oh you're hating he's another car he's another he's another brother like you okay but brothers can be bought brothers can be bought and then again before rashad before he was rashad jamal who was he he was a rapper he was a rapper called az who you sing out with nas Mm-hmm. He used to, he was he's a rapper. I don't need to go deeper into this, but there's videos on YouTube that expose I'm not the only one that's that that broke down Rashad Jamal that exposed. I'm the one that that basically showed through numbers that they're the same pair that the same person, right? I showed you through his music videos how how he was throwing up the 666 and doing these one-eye symbolism. I sh I showed y'all all that shit. It's on my it's on my YouTube. I don't need to go deeper into that. But people cannot see that. Why? Because people need a hero to look up to. People need a hero to look up to instead of being their own hero. Stop doing that, y'all. Stop looking to these people. Everybody free Rashad Jamal. Free yourself. Free your mind. Free yourself and free your mind. Stop worrying about Rashad. This nigga in fucking Hawaii enjoying himself, doing something. Laughing at y'all. <laughs> I got these niggas, bro. Playing $33 a month for my shit. Hmm? <laughs> That's listen, bro. He's he's enjoying himself. He's doing his thing. Free yourself. Stop looking for people to save you. The only person that can save yourself is you. Not even Jesus, who is the son can save you. You have to save yourself. Not even God, who is the universe, who is within you, can save you. Only you can save yourself. You have to see beyond the bullshit. These people are not heroes. Remember, they give you your heroes. They give you your heroes. Why? Because they don't want you to be a hero. Why do you think they, why do you think they take our fathers away from us? Hmm? Why do you think that joke exists about black men or carbonated men going out and getting the milk and never return? Isn't your father supposed to be your hero? Hmm? Why are they why they why are they in prison? They're taking away your heroes and they're giving you your heroes. Hmm? Oh, he reminds me of the father I I, I never had. Okay, your father stepped away. Now you step up. They took your father away, okay, you step up. Kind of like the same story of Jesus, right? God put Jesus on earth, right? And what did Jesus say? Oh God, why have you forsaken me, right? Nigga, step up. Man up. You're a man. Step up. Fuck out of here. Talking about why I haven't forsaken you. I'm within you. Step up. Step up to the God consciousness within you. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all don't need no heroes. Y'all don't need no heroes. The heroes within you. Hero. The sun god. The solar plexus that charges you up and power you up. Every rising. Come on, man. Some people are not meant to see it. Some people are not meant to see it. That's all I can say. People, some people are not meant to see it. And that's okay. Like I said, the age of Aquarius is going to remove them from the earth. Age of Aquarius, I'm not going nowhere. Until we ascend, I'm not going nowhere. I have a mission to do. I know what my mission is. I know what my mission is. I know what my mission is. <sighs> Y'all got me hyped up, boy, this rising, boy. Y'all got me hyped up, this rising, boy. Thank you to the puppets. That come on here that activated me. Gratitude to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. 
Thank you guys. Appreciate a lot of y'all. You know? <laughs> I'm not calling you a puppet, bro. I'm talking. I'm listen. If you're not a puppet, you're not a puppet. If you're not a puppet, you're not a puppet. I'm not talking to that. I'm not talking to you. The people say I'm not a puppet. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, no, no, nah, I'm not talking to you now. Nah, don't worry. He's gonna say, don't get offended. It's just, it's just my way. It's my vernacular. You know what I'm saying? It's the way. This, this is the way that I speak. So if you're not a puppet, you're not a puppet. You feel me? Okay. But there are, there are puppets in this world. There are puppets. There are NPCs, right? They're just there, just to, they're just there, just to be there. They're there to confuse you, right? That's why, again, even, a, even a lot of your family members, a lot of your family members, they were put there. A lot of your family members, they were put there just to just to throw you back to where you're supposed to go which is through the or, uh, through the spiritual route okay through the spiritual route a lot of your family members they were just there to steer you back into the spiritual route because you see that you don't want to be with them you don't want to fuck with them you don't want to be in the same environment thank you so much uh casey gratitude thank you for that heart thank you for that love you thank you appreciate love that appreciate love that right they're just there to steer you back into the direction that you're supposed to be going, which is the spiritual route. Because once you start going the spiritual route, it may get lonely for a little bit, but eventually you're gonna find out that you're not so alone, right? Especially right now, right? But again, the word alone, when you break it down, it's all one. Eventually we're going to get back to that. That's why, uh, what's his name, Ram Das, one of his greatest quotes, it says, excuse me, one of his greatest quotes is like, "We're all on the same path, walking each other home slowly." I forgot. Don't 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 quote me on that. Let me see. Then let me see if that uh, what that quote is. I want I want to get it correct for y'all. I want to get it correct for you guys. Hold on. I'll say yeah. So um, it says we're all just walking each other home. Yes, that's Ram Das. Okay, okay, that's Ram Das. We're all just walking each other home. Okay, it's a journey. Y'all gotta understand that we're on this journey together. We're on this journey together. Okay, and again, they have to throw these wrenches in your like you know what I'm saying. They have because that's what school is all about. Earth again is a school. It's a school. It's part of the one. It's one of the many schools in the universe. Okay, that's why they make that. That's why they name schools after universes, universities, and all that type of stuff. Earth is a school that directly connects you to what your heart. That's why Earth is an anagram for the word heart. Right? We spoke about this plenty of time. And then we are what in the third dimension, which is correlated to your solar plexus. Right? The solar plexus, which is powering you up to cause you to go what? To go what? Into the heart chakra, the green chakra. Which has to do with the heart, which is an anagram for earth again. Okay? So it's powering you up to go into that, right? This is what's happening. Y'all gotta realize what's going on. We're in a school. And the thing is, you need to learn about yourself. You need to learn about yourself. That's why you come into this world alone. But we leave all one. That's what I'm saying? You come into this world alone, but we ascend and we leave all one. It's a school of life, the school of hard knocks. And of course, they got to throw shit into your face. They got to throw these puppets into your face. I'm not going to say no names or nothing like that, but they got to throw these people into your face. They have to because they know if the, the more time you spend in this third in this third physical realm, right? In the 3D mindset, the more time they have here on Earth. They know that. That's why they got to always put new... Jamal Rashad in your face. They gotta put a Billy Carlson in your face. They gotta put a new rapper in your face. They gotta put a new singer in your face. They gotta put a new entertainer, a new basketball player, a new football player. Even though they're not fucking new themselves, they're just playing a new character. They're just playing a new character. Y'all see that? Y'all see how many times I show y'all, oh, this person is that person. Even though I don't do that no more, because when I expose, especially when I expose Yaki Awaken, people were like, oh my God. Bro, blah, blah, blah. Do you know him? Do you know him? 
Where did he come from? Where did he come from? How did it happen just like that? Hmm? Yeah, a new Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson. Where did they come from? Hmm? And where are they now? Right? This world is going through a change right now, right? We're going through a spiritual change. Where are they? Where's Al Sharpton? Where's Ja Rule? Where is Ja? <laughs> Where is Ja? Why isn't he saving you? Hmm? I really got to understand. Those people don't matter. Those people don't matter. It's all about you. It's all about to get you confused. That's all. That's really what it's for. It's to get you confused. Oh, shout out to what's it called? Um, I, I what's it called? Uh, to the people on my YouTube, y'all. They hit me with two content uh, with copyright strikes. So I slowed down on my YouTube. I slowed down on my YouTube. So that's why I haven't posting. I haven't been posting um, uh, my my videos on my YouTube, man. Cause I got two. If I post if I post one more and they hit me with content man, content copyright, then they delete my whole fucking channel. And this is my second YouTube channel um, that they took that would that would take from me. They already deleted my first YouTube channel. I appealed to try to get it back. They didn't give it back to me. Um, so I'm trying to hold on to this YouTube channel because I put. I go live and post esoteric information on there, and then thank you, thank you for the person who donated, uh, who donated for my, um, who was it? Hold on, because I'm trying to get a new laptop, y'all, so I can go live on YouTube because I cannot go live on YouTube with my laptop. I'm trying to go. What the hell? Thank you to Chantel She. Thank you, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you for the uh, for the AI, Tony Stark. You know what I'm saying? The Jarvises. Thank you. Um, Chantel She. Thank you so much for the dollar. Appreciate love that. Um, again, I'm trying to raise a fund so I can um purchase a new laptop so I can go live on YouTube because I love going live on YouTube. I love you know showing videos. I love showing um. I love showing videos and reading stuff on uh, reading esoteric stuff on YouTube, but I cannot do that right now because my laptop won't allow me to do that. My laptop is acting up; it's shutting down every time I go live on YouTube. So I need a new laptop in order to do that. So um, if you want to, you guys can donate to my cash app, which is dollar sign conscious juice. Dollar sign conscious juice. Um, you will see my goddess on there, and um, yeah, and most definitely. Once I get once I get a good amount of change, which is only like 400 bucks or something like that, then I get a new laptop, and then um, I could go live on YouTube. I'll be going I'll be going more live on YouTube once I do that. I'll be going live on YouTube even more when I do that because um, this me not being able to post content on YouTube is slowing me down, man. It's really slowing me down. So that's why I try to come out here, get y'all get some videos on here, and then post it on YouTube just to keep my YouTube entertained. You feel me? Cause I'm not trying to do all that. I need to go look into it. Thank you so much, Solo Rider. Gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude. So, uh, yeah, y'all. Um, you guys want to do some breath work? You guys, let's, let's do some breath work, man. Cause that's what I came out here in the first place. DJ Perky. Hey, y'all. Thank you very much. Huh? Uh, thank you very much. Gratitude. Gratitude upon you, young king. Gratitude. Thank you, Perky. Perkalish. Okay, so we're gonna do some breath work, y'all, and then I gotta get going. I gotta get going. And then I will most likely be on later. Thank you very much, Victory Gardens. Thank you so much for the uh for the heart me gratitude. Oh, y'all showing some love today. Y'all showing some love today. Gratitude to all y'all. Okay. All right. Look at the aliens dropping because they don't want to do breath work. They don't want to be exposed. <laughs> The aliens dropping because they don't want to do breath work. I'll tell y'all, boy, that breath work will expose people, boy. I'm telling you. Let's get it, y'all. Thank you so much, uh, VU. Thank you so much for part of for lighting me up. For lighting me up. Charging me up. Charging me up. It goes to show you, man. It goes to show you what people really want. You feel me? It goes to show you what people really want. You feel me? Um. What a be hold on, y'all. I'm about to get some coconut water. Hold on. Happy Friday, y'all. Let's get it. Thank you so much, Solar Rider. Gratitude. Thank you, man. I'll be right back. Let me get some coconut water. Hey, thank you so much for that. DJ Perky.
Drinking some H302, baby. Ooh, look at this shit. It's so good. Mmm. Oh my goodness, friend. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you for that unicorn. Wow. Thank you so much for that unicorn. Let's get it. Y'all know what the unicorn is, right? Rent. What? Hey. Friend, thank you so much. We can't understand reality until we understand mud fossils and metamorphosis. Wow, that's what's up, friend. Listen, and then friend has eight. Friend, friend has the word eight in it. Well, 215 gives you eight. But that's crazy. That's amazing. Thank you so much, friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, friend. You showing out now. You showing out. You are showing out, bro. I don't even, I'm not even battling. <laughs> I'm not even battling, friend, but wow, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, friend, you are showing out. Thank you, thank you so much. I don't even know what to say, friend. Thank you, thank you so much. Much gratitude, much, much, much gratitude. So much, so much. That's going into the that's going to the laptop fund, that's for sure. That's definitely going to the laptop fund. Thank you so much. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much for the hand heart. Gratitude. Yes, for the roses. I love her. Rose. 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 I'm not gonna do, do 51 of them, but thank you for the rose. I love rose, you know what I'm saying? And and rose has to do with um rose has to do with the earth rising. I don't know if you know. Rose has to do with the oh rose uh, with the rose rising. That's why women love roses, uh roses so much because it, 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 it represents the rise of earth. Okay? That's why another name for rose is earth. Another name for earth is rose, you know, the greatest flower. You feel me? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, gratitude. So that's what roses represent. That's why that's why women love roses so much. Gratitude, gratitude, right? So uh, men, this is your this is your message to buy your lady a rose today, right? One, two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. Thank you so. Yeah, not the rose toy. No, real roses. Real roses. You got, it's gotta represent life. It's gotta represent life. Okay. All right. Thank. Thank you, DJ Perky. Oh my goodness, bro. Y'all showing out today. Y'all showing out today. Should we battle? <laughs> Should we battle? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not with that battle stuff, man. I don't really battle. Um, I just come here to, to spread knowledge, to spread love. You feel me? Spread love and spread knowledge and information. That's it. That's it. That's all I come on here for, man. That's really what I come on here for. And this time, this is what we need. With all the stuff that's going on right now, so much confusing information, right? This is what we need. The type of information from, from, I'm not gonna say, what's it called? I'm just, I'm just divinely guided. I'm divinely guided to bring information out to y'all. Like, I don't even need a computer to show y'all what's going on. I can literally like come out here and just listen. This is what y'all need, okay? This is what y'all need right now, okay? And people come out here and they listen, and I, and I love that. I, I, listen, I love that. Man. Y'all need to give yourself a round of applause, man. Y'all need to give yourself a round of applause. Everyone out here, thank you so much. Beautiful cosmic goddess, where's it? Go Look, people are asking me about the Leviathan. Come back later. I will do a live on the Leviathan, okay? Come back later tonight. I'm going to do a live on the Leviathan, okay? Michelle, we love you so much, Michelle. Thank you so much. Your piece is going to be out. Later tonight, I will do a live on the Leviathan. Y'all charging me up, man. So later tonight, I will be doing a live on the Leviathan, okay? Does that sound good? Does that sound good, y'all? Beautiful Goddess says, okay. I know Michelle gonna be in here. Michelle! Michelle, I'm a, later tonight, I'm gonna I'm break you down, okay? Because I, I, I gotta go. I'm gonna do this breath work and I'm gonna go. Okay? All right, everybody saying yes? All right, later tonight, I will do a live on the Leviathan. I will show you through numbers and everything, y'all. I Listen, I cannot lie, okay? I cannot lie because the Leviathan is lying hidden. Okay, it's not. What's the best place? What's the best place uh, to, to hide something? Right underneath your face. Right underneath your face. Zach, what's going on? I see you in here, my boy. Thank you, friend. Appreciate love that. Thank you so much for charging me up, DJ Perky. Let's go, man. DJ Perky, you must have took a perk today, boy. Charging me up like this, man. Perked up, huh, DJ Perky? <laughs> I almost spit it. I almost spit it up, boy. Um. Hannah, what's going on, Hannah? Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you so much. 
Um, let's get it. Um, <laughs> DJ Perky perked up, baby. Let's get it. Um, all right, y'all. So let's let, let's do this. Let's do this breath work so we can go about our day. Okay, is the eye of God watching from behind the behind the sun? I mean, that's why that's why the sun looking like an eye. That's why the sun looking like an eye. Cause y'all gotta understand. That's why. That's why um, the yin and yang is the black and white. Okay, y'all gotta understand that the yin and yang is the black and white. So it's actually the black sun that's powering the white sun. Y'all understand that? It's the black sun that's powering the white sun. So the sun is really black, but it just appears to be white. Y'all understand that, right? That's why the yin and yang is all about. Everything comes from black. Okay, everything comes from black. Okay, so it's the black sun powering the white sun. Okay, exactly. But what's above is also what's below is also above. As above, thank you. Look at that. Look at it. yeah. You see, or go around radionics knows what's up. What's below is also above. As above, so below. Everything. Yeah, the law of correspondence. That's why trees. That's why when you look at the tree um, above, you see all the branches branching out. Well, it's also doing it below. There's just no branches. Their their um their uh their network system. The network. The roots. The roots. Literally. Literally, the little roots, they copy, they mirror the tree up there. The the roots of the tree, they mirror and they copy the tree up there. As above, so below. As above, so below. You woke me up. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Rather than so without. Yeah, so everything you see out here is also within. You are literally the microcosmic of the universe. Understand that, y'all. Understand that. You will y'all have no idea how powerful y'all. That's why they gotta keep you entertained with so much bullshit, man. That's why they gotta fucking entertain you with so much bullshit because y'all have no idea how powerful y'all. When I tell y'all you guys are so powerful, man, you guys are so powerful. You guys have no like only this age of Aquarius is gonna help you see this. Only this age of Aquarius is going to help you see this. That's the only thing. So I'm grateful for this beautiful age. I'm grateful for this. You have no idea. And I told y'all. It took me losing my mother to realize this world this world has been without the mother. It took me to lose my mother to understand that this world has been without a mother. And now the mother's coming back with vengeance. With vengeance. Cleaning up the earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this was happening right now, y'all. Yeah, the mother's coming back with the vengeance. And with the father. And with the father. Mother and father's home. Knock, knock, knocking on the door. You know? Knock with that R. Kelly. Knock, knock, knocking on the door. You get it, y'all. You know? Mm. All right, y'all. So let's get this shift, man. <sighs> so, again, you know how we do the breath work, y'all. I want y'all to sit up straight because you want your chakras aligned, right? You're feeding your seven chakras, starting with the root chakra. All the way up to your crown chakra your, your root chakra okay is located in between your perineum your perineum is the location between your private part and your anus okay that is your root chakra this is where your snake um, energy resides your kundalini your leviathan your dragon your serpent energy this is where it relies okay and let's down so when you're breathing I want you to imagine that kundalini energy rising up to your crown chakra and you're going to feel it you're going to feel heat okay you may not feel it the first time that you do it excuse me pardon me you may not feel the first time you do it but once you keep the breath work going you're going to feel heat rising up your uh up your spine okay and this is the kundalini energy that's rising okay now now when you do this we're breathing in and out we're breathing in and out we're breathing in and out and we're channeling it and once you do that i want you to realize i want you to hit I just want you to imagine the seven chakras that's getting that's getting on um, the energy, okay? And it's rising up, rising up, rising up. And then you know how we do the breath work, right? And out, and out, and out, and out, right? And then we breathe all the way, breathe out. We hold it. Take a nice deep breath in. We hold that. And then we let it out. And then we hold that, okay? And then feel the changes that are happening to your body. We're going to do this three times, y'all. If you guys can stay, please stay because this feels amazing. This sends you on a whole nother vibration, okay? This sends you on a whole nother vibration, all right? So if you can please stay, please stay and join, all right? If you, can lay, if you want to lay down, you can lay down as well. You can lay down. Just make sure your back is erect. Just, just make sure your back is erect. It's straight in the line, okay? If not, 
sit up. All right, and let's get it, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna get it. So we're gonna start it. Let go my ego. <laughs> Let go my ego. That's why they said. That's why they said. Uh, uh, break a leg. Break a leg. You're breaking the leg. Okay. An ego. Wow. Yeah. Get a leg off my ego, which is geo, which is earth. Interesting. And this is why you create a legacy. Leg at sea. Can't make this shift up. All right, y'all. Um. So, chakras align, back direct and straight, okay? I want you to close your eyes because this is how you feel it, okay? So, again, we're going we're gonna to start off slow. We're going to breathe in through the nose, out, out the mouth, all right? Just like that. And then we're going to speed it up. All right, and then we're going to go. We're going to go all the way out. Hold it, right? And then we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Hold that until you can't no more. Breathe all the way out. Hold that until you can't no more. And then breathe normally. Even that little one just right, just, just tickle my tummy. You know what I'm saying? It just tickle my tummy. All right? Let me take a little drink. Y'all should take a little drink right now, too. All right, y'all. All right, let's get it. And then now, let's get it. Come on. Breathe all the way out. Breathe all the way out. All the way out. And hold that. Relax your body. Feel the changes that's happening in your body. Please relax your body. Don't stress yourself out. Don't strain yourself out. You feel it more when you relax your body. It feels beautiful, y'all. Feel that mind quiet now. And when you can't hold that no more, you take a nice deep breath in and hold that. Hold it. Let it all out. Let it all out. All the way out, y'all. All the way out. All the way, all the way out. And hold it.
And I forgot to add squeezing your perineum to it, y'all. So this time we're gonna squeeze the perineum with it, all right? We're gonna get right back to it. Let's take it. In and out, let's go. Faster. Let it all the way out, squeeze your perineum. All the way out, squeeze your perineum. Squeeze your perineum, which is the spot between your private part and your anus. Squeeze it, feel that kundalini rising. Feel that heat rising up your spine, feel it. And when you can no more, take a nice deep breath in. And squeeze your perineum and hold it. Remember to relax your body, y'all. Remember to relax your body. Keep holding it. And you care no more? Release your perineum. Now this time, we'll, this time we're gonna hold it on the in breath, right? We're gonna hold it on the in breath, and then it's gonna be the out breath. Before it was hold it on the out breath, and then in breath. But this time we're gonna hold it on the in breath. Okay? Just follow me. We got two more times of this. All right? Let's get it, y'all. In and out. Let's go. Breath in, hold it, squeeze your perineum. Hold it, squeeze your perineum. And feel what's going on in your body. Relax your body, y'all, remember. Relax. And feel what's going on. Squeezing your perineum. You should feel warmth in your spine. You should feel warmth in your spine. If it gets too much, you can wiggle around. All the way out, all the way out, all the way out. Get it out. Get that better, bad air out. Bad air out. Let it all the way out. Hold it. Squeeze it for any. This is trauma leaving the body. This is dead cells leaving the body. Bad blood leaving the body unneeded sickness illness leaving the body
Take a nice deep breath in. Let it out slowly. All right, y'all, one more time, okay? One more time, one more time. And then, upon this one more time, we're going to relax our mind and just do a brief meditation until the song runs out, okay? All right? Y'all ready? Last time, all right? In and out, in and out, through the mouth. I mean, in and in through the nose, out through the mouth, all right? Let's get it. Let it out. Out. Let it out. Faster. Breath in, hold it, squeeze your perineum. Hold it, squeeze your perineum. Relax your body. Feel the warmth. Feel the heat within your spine. Relax your toes. Your toes are probably scrunching right now. Relax your fingers. Relax your spine. Relax your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in.
you guys. You guys to start moving your toes, your fingers. You can bat your, eye uh, your eyebrows, your eyelids, whatever they're called. Just take a nice deep breath in. Work. I hope you guys were doing the breath work. Thank you, Christ Consciousness. Good to see you in here. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you in here. Jerry, gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Gratitude. Let's get it, y'all. Um, so, I hope that was able to help y'all. What's going on, my brother? What's up, man? Um, I hope that was able to help you guys um, step into a new wave of consciousness to a new wave of awareness because that's my intention for you guys this helps you see better things more things sun traveler gratitude thank you, thank you i'm so i'm so calm right now y'all and i hope this helped you as well y'all i hope this you know elevated you to a new state of consciousness this new state of awareness and brought more peace into your life you see once once you remove the garbage from your mind because you gotta understand like a lot of these thoughts that come into your mind, they're not yours. They're not yours because we're connected to the universe. So these these thoughts hold on to us. They come on to us. They gravitate to us, right? Because it's the infinite loop, which the infinite loop, the, uh, another anagram for the loop is pool. So you're literally, we're literally in an infinite pool of, 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 of thought, of just um, either it could be a benevolent thought or a malevolent thought. So we're literally in an infinite pool loop of just consciousness, like awareness of different types of beings all around us. And sometimes it pulls to us, it gravitates to us. Yes, exactly. God's Wi-Fi, literally. So understand that a lot of these thoughts may not, they're not yours. They never, they were never yours to begin with, you know. That's why you breathe in, you breathe in a thought, you breathe out a thought. You breathe in a thought, you breathe out a thought. Even the breath is not yours. You're literally borrowing it. You're literally borrowing it because it belongs to the creator, which is an aspect of you. You are the creator. It's within you. Understand that. I'm not taking away that 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 power away from you saying I'm, you're not the creator and whatnot. In order to breathe this type of air, you would have to have the creator within you. Understand that. You would have to have the creator within you. Let's get it, y'all. All right, y'all. Um, I got work to do. Um, I, like I said, I will be back on later to do this live on the road. Y'all just been asking me, asking me, asking me. All right, so if y'all want to see that live on later on the Leviathan, I'll be on later. Okay, y'all. Um, gratitude to everybody that was here. Thank you guys for showing up for yourself first and foremost. Okay, that's the most important thing. Thank you for showing up for yourself and being here and showing up for myself. Thank you for all the love that I got today. The gifts, man, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you for everybody that showed out. Fran, oh my goodness, Fran, the hidden sun, DJ Perky, Mick, Mickle, Mickle, Sun Traveler, VU, Sweet A, Victory Gardens, Yanni, everybody else, my tappers, gratitude for sharing the live. I'm so happy. Thank y'all so much. I will be back on later, all right? Uh, remember, we're in the age of Aquarius. It's the age of knowing, knowing who you are now. Now remember, we're in the age of Aquarius. It's knowing who you are. DJ Perky, appreciate sure love you too, my brother. Um, all I can say is let's get this shit, y'all. Peace in. I'll see y'all later. Let's get it.